Hey guys, I'm DID Choi, and today I'm going to be talking about how to optimize logic to save on RAM. So I know a lot of you guys that use samples, especially、uh, contact and kind of like orchestral samples where you have a bunch of tracks. You are going to either need a lot of RAM, like 32, 64, maybe even 128 gigs, or you're going to have to start freezing your instruments. But freezing is such a pain, right? So, while it is a huge pain, it will save you in a lot of situations so you can actually get through a project without having your computer crashing. So, it is very important. All you have to do is right click on the tracks and then you can go into the track header components or whatever it is. And then there you can select freeze and then you know, the button will show up. It's a simple thing. It takes a while to freeze, but then once you have it frozen, you know, it's not going to be overloading your CPU or your RAM. But it is really annoying in that it just messes with your workflow. Sometimes, if you have a wrong note or something, you have to unfreeze it, load in the instrument, and it's, it's a whole mess. Then, afterwards, if you want to add in your effects or edit your effects, then it's a whole nother mess again. But that doesn't always have to be the way it is. So, here's a quick tip for making your effects workflow a lot easier in Logic with freezing. All right, so we're here in Logic right now. I have a little piano jingle. Okay, maybe I'm gonna add some percussion. Maybe I wanna add some reverb. Maybe I'll just send it to a quick little Valhalla reverb. Maybe a room, the default preset. And then I just keep on adding different instruments. Then what happens?、Uh, Duduk. Why not? Let's try it. All right, that's enough composing for now. Imagine I have very little RAM and I had, I don't know, double or triple the amount of tracks that I have right now. If I were to start freezing these tracks, which is what you usually would do if you run out of RAM, you know, once I freeze it, you know, it takes a while to freeze. We wait for that. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh, I should have, I should have moved the playhead. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Sometimes that happens. All right, now we got all of our tracks frozen. It's going to be pretty light on RAM. Great, sounds good. So it's all frozen, it's working well. Oh, I kind of want to change the horn. Maybe I want to add a suspension into the horn somewhere. Yeah, I want to cut this note in half. Oh, I need to unfreeze it. Okay, fine, I'll unfreeze it. All right. Let's try that. Dig into the suspension a little bit more. Great, I like that suspension. All right, now I'm going to freeze it again because I'm running out of RAM. Okay, I'll freeze it. Wait for that to freeze. That's fine. That's okay. I can handle that. Oh, but I wanted to EQ it. I can't EQ it. So, the way to freeze it in a better way, I'm going to unfreeze everything. A little cringe because it took a while to freeze all of that, right? But instead of、uh, just freezing it the regular way, I'm going to go into track, 
freeze mode, source only. This is the point. If you go source only, then you can EQ, compress, you can add whatever effects, routing, anything after the fact, and only the source audio from contact is going to be frozen. Before the whole channel strip was frozen, so all your effects were locked in, let's say you had maybe like a chain of you know, six different effects on one instrument, and then you're like, oh, I want to adjust the threshold. Well, then you got to go back and you got to unfreeze the whole track. It's going to take forever. You're going to load in the plugin. Maybe you don't have your external SSD with you because you're just editing and you're mixing. Well, now it's a missing plugin. You're going to have to plug your SSD back in and it's going to be a whole mess. So instead of doing that, if you have it on source only, even if I froze it, I can edit the effects all I want. I can add a low pass filter, duduk. Maybe I want to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Maybe I want it super airy. You know, I can EQ it all I want. I can add a compressor. I can add whatever I want, you know? And I don't have to go in and unfreeze it. Now, if I have to change the notes, yes, I will have to unfreeze it. But, you know, play the right notes and edit as you go, of course. So that was my quick tip for Logic. When you're freezing tracks, make sure for MIDI tracks, it's best to have them in source only mode. Audio tracks, on the other hand, uh, you wouldn't really freeze them in the first place for source only. That doesn't make sense because you're basically just freezing an audio track into an audio track. But let's say you have like dozens of plugins on it. Probably don't need dozens of plugins, but you know, you have a good handful of plugins. In that case, for an audio file, let's, have, let's make a quick audio file here. Let's say you have an EQ, you have a compressor, you have a, I don't know, a filter because you feel like it. Maybe you have a DSer. All these tracks, then, you know, maybe you want to be more CPU efficient. Instead of going source only for audio tracks, you keep it pre-fader. And if you freeze it, then all of your effects get baked in and you don't have to worry about it anymore. The CPU will be fine. Uh, if you do need to change your effects, then you can unfreeze it. But unfreezing audio tracks doesn't take as long as loading in a whole new contact instrument again. So hopefully this quick tip helped you. Uh, if it did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ding the notification bell, all those things. I hope it supports your logic workflow and helps you save on RAM. But then when you do get your next computer, get that extra RAM. This has been DID Choi, and I'll see you next time.